Now the On Your Side forecast with Steve Liebenthal. And some pretty decent uh, conditions up at Bogus Basin for the first night of night skiing with two inches of new snow on the ground and snow still falling not only up on the mountain but here in the valley as well. A very light snow falling around the Treasure Valley right now. As I mentioned earlier, Boise only picking up four tenths of an inch over the last 24 hours, but some parts of the Treasure Valley picking up more than that. One weather spotter reporting three inches of snow in southwest Boise, so it's kind of varied depending on where you went around the valley. Temperatures definitely cold enough that the showers we're seeing will remain snow. It's 30 degrees degrees now at the Boise Airport, 28 degrees right now in Mountain Home, also 30 in Ontario. We're seeing teens in the East Central Mountains up in the Sawtooth in the Big Wood River Valley, 24 degrees right now at McCall and Brundage Mountain picked up a little bit of snow overnight as well. We'll talk more about those ski resorts coming up later in the show. Here you see our uh, Doppler radar and satellite composite showing those showers kind of spinning over southwestern Idaho, an area of low pressure here that's continuing its trek off to the east and as it does, those snow showers will diminish over the next 24 hours. Highest likelihood of more accumulation here in the valley is overnight and into the early morning hours, and then we'll see those showers really die off by afternoon. Temperatures will be dropping off as well, especially as we move into the weekend with a northerly flow coming in out of the Pacific. There is another storm system out there, but it's headed way to the north of us. Should not have much impact for us, although we do have a slight chance of seeing some light snow showers on Saturday. It's only about a 20% chance, so not a lot to worry about. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. Again, some snow showers still falling in the central mountains here in the valley. Snow showers possible in the morning, but uh, giving way to partly to mostly cloudy skies by afternoon. Then that cold air comes in just in time for the weekend. Our morning lows over the weekend will be down into the teens, and afternoon highs on some days will not even make it up to the freezing point. That has been our situation today, but it will not be the case tomorrow. Temperatures will be warmer tomorrow than today. Shooting for an afternoon high of 35 in Boise. Morning snow showers. We could see as much to one, as one to three inches over the next 24 hours, but I think we're going to be closer to that one inch total. And really the way the snow is letting up now, maybe not even an inch by morning and then some breaks in the clouds by afternoon. Here's a look at the central mountain forecast, one to three inches possible, especially overnight and tomorrow morning afternoon highs will remain below freezing up to 25 in the call for your afternoon high. And the east central mountains up in the Sawtooth, one to two inches of additional snow likely. Morning lows down into the low teens and our afternoon highs in the mid-20s. In the Magic Valley, snow showers with two to four inches possible, especially overnight and early tomorrow morning. Afternoon highs will be right around 30 degrees. The extended on your side forecast shows those snow showers letting up tomorrow afternoon. A high of 33 on Friday with partly cloudy skies. Morning lows in the teens for Friday through Monday. Afternoon highs also on the chilly side, only 30 degrees on Saturday.